Hello everyone. Welcome to Chad's Reviews. Today we're going to do a little tip that was slid across my desk here from my friend Tim about a certain Pringles. And about two weeks ago after spending 41 minutes on a crashing Kellogg's website, I was able to acquire the infamous Friendsgiving Feast Turducken Pringle Pack. Now here's a little look at the package for people that are interested. As never seen on TV. There's the turducken stack, which we'll test at the very end of it. And here's a little bit of reading and whatnot. There's the side of the package. Both sides look the same way. And here's the back of the package, which they are nicely labeled of what they are. And an expiration date, best by 12-31-2019. So these don't last that long. And here is the chips themselves. They all look pretty, pretty plain there. So here we are. Uh, let's give the chips a taste where I should just be selling them for $100 on eBay like everyone else, but since one of my subscribers requested it, let's crack this thing open. Oh my gosh. It wasn't easy to crack open. A lot of people say these look gross. They smell like a Thanksgiving meal. So, okay. Um, I think this one's the turkey. I hope I don't have this upside down. Uh, maybe that's cranberry sauce. Yeah, I think this is upside down. Oh no. Here I am second guessing. I think they put the package in upside down. So I'm going to try this mystery one first. That's turkey. And it does surprisingly taste like turkey. That's pretty phenomenal. All right, duck. Not many times in my life have I had duck, so I can't can't tell you for sure, but as I eat this, I'm getting flashes of Daffy Duck in my head, so I think it probably tastes like a duck, spot on. Here's chicken. Tastes pretty plain to me, but I guess you could see chicken on there. So far, the turkey one's the most outstanding one. All right, here's stuffing, which I don't like and don't ever eat, so I won't know if it tastes like stuffing or not, but here we go. <laughs> tastes like... Uh, Gross. Mixed with some basil, maybe. Just like what I thought of stuffing. Okay, now the next one's pumpkin pie. But that's the one that I'm kind of most excited about. So let's do a cranberry sauce. And thanks to all the redness on this chip, I was able to figure out that they flipped the package. So here's cranberry sauce. Whoa. A very tarty, fruity flavor. That cranberry sauce is pretty wild there. It's not bad. Alright, now here's the one. Pumpkin pie. This one I'm pretty excited about. It smells all ginger spice too. Oh, that's cool. 
Oh yeah. Kind of tastes more like a uh, a gingerbread cookie or something. No, the more you eat it, it does taste like pumpkin pie. But the first first taste of it tastes kind of like a like a gingerbread. But yeah, I definitely I like it. That's pretty good. These are pretty cool. Um, okay, so let's do the turducken stack. So what you do is you take a turkey. So here's a turkey, a duck, here's a duck, and a chicken. And you put a chicken on there. Okay, the turducken stack. The Here's the big money maker. All right, here we go. The turducken stack is not very impressive. Uh, they're neater as individual flavors, but the one that I, I like the taste of the most, like I said, the turkey had the most flavor. Duck was so-so. The chicken was the least impressive of the meats. And the stuffing was gross. I didn't like that one. I don't like stuffing anyways. I don't really care for Thanksgiving food, period. Um, and let's see the pumpkin pie. I really like that one. That one was spot on. And the one that surprised me out of all of them is the cranberry sauce one. Uh, this one's, uh, that one's a wild ride. So yeah, like I said, most of these are going for a hundred bucks on eBay. So it's not like I can tell you to go to Pringles and get some, which is unfortunate for a lot of people. Like I said, their website crashed for over two hours. Um, but it was definitely a, a great experience. I hope you guys like this video. Here's the little card that came with it as well. Oh, there we're losing it. Well, it doesn't want to show you. There you go. So, pretty neat experience overall. Um, I'd highly suggest it if anybody has it or if you can find it. I wouldn't say it's worth a hundred bucks, but it was worth the experience. So thanks everybody for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe. All right. Thanks very much.